Okay, I'm gonna do this video fast because um, I did it earlier and the damn thing locked up while I was doing the video. I didn't get to finish it. So um, here's the deal. Because you're married to a white man, it's even more important for you to to feel as if you should be able to try to express the fact that uh, this should be unity. You, you, you of all people should be promoting unity in your household. Between you, your husband, and when you have kids, they are going to be most likely considered black. Now, I got four half-brothers. Yep. They all half-white. Okay? One of them has two kids. Well, a couple of them have two kids, but let me just say what I'm saying. One has two kids. One by a woman that is half-white also, and the other one by a woman that's totally white. Now, when you look at his kids, they still look black. And I have seen white people say hurtful things to white people when they either appear to be uh, black orientated or they sound black. Now, let's get back to the, the subject at hand, which was the black women and black men ain't no good. I, uh, so, what I want to say basically is this. No matter what color a man is, men, we all have our idiosyncrasies. No man is better than the other man. Okay? Now, when it comes to relationships, I've been in relationships with white people. And, you know, uh, white women. I don't want to say white people because that's men in general and women. So, uh, I ain't never been in a relationship with a white man. So, I have been in a relationship with white women. And there isn't much difference between any pe person. Yeah, a white woman will treat you a certain way and a black woman will treat you a certain way. All people are the same in my eyes. If we as a people keep bringing forth differences and when only the differences are, are most of the time are in opinion. See, a lot of black women can't deal with black men because of a black man's opinion. And a black woman can't deal with a black man because of her own opinions towards black men in some cases. So you found a man you like. He could have been fucking any color in the world. It didn't matter because you found somebody you were both. I, mean, I don't even want to do this video. Anymore. I started earlier. The video was fine. I hit my points. But the point is this. No matter who you got or what you got, you can find happiness. Okay? Furthermore, when people like you or Sergeant Willie Pete want to have something negative to say towards black people, what I'm trying to say is this. If you ain't got nothing positive to say and all you have is negativity to say, you might as well not speak because it's like beating a dead horse. Nobody wants to hear black negativity from black people. And when I make comments that white people don't say these things unless they say them to you in public, white people do say these things. People don't pay attention to white people. Because like I said in a couple of my other videos, a poor white person has nothing in common with nobody. White people can't see poor white people, and black people can't so see poor white people as equal sometimes because they just as poor, and they should have more. I don't know. Moral of what I'm trying to get to, because I'm freaking tired of talking about this subject, is this. When people tend to say things about a race of people, it tends to be black people dissing black people. And at the point where I said something about you, because I don't hate nobody either, I hate that attitude in that kind of person. I still don't even feel like talking on this video. I got other things to do. But because you married to a white man, you should be wanting to teach black unity. You shouldn't want your kids to see the other half living foul. And on the white side, there's fucked up white people too. He should be teaching the same thing. But will those half black kids be accepted? My stepbrothers wasn't accepted by their white half of the family. They still aren't. And some, some of those white people do some fucked up shit methamphetamine and smoking drugs in front of the little babies and doing all kind of stuff. I've seen it. 
Because when I was a faulty individual and got high and partied, I partied with white people and black people. And let me tell you something, baby. I've seen some black people do some faulty things, and yet and still I've seen some white people do some faulty things too. And if you put a weight or a scale on it, it's like the one that balances justice, Ain't no injustice in how one group of people disrespects the other group of people when they do the same shit. When it comes down to what I just said, I'm glad you were the white man. Why? Because that's the person that best made you happy. And that's your life. But for any woman to advertise, mine is better, it's pitiful. And. The video I commented on and the person I commented on, he was saying he is tired of hearing people say these things. See, I am a, uh, what do you call it, the kind of person who wants everybody united. I don't give a damn what color your husband is. He's a fucking man. He's a human. He's the person that makes you happy. Therefore, you go with that. But you best, by all means necessary, teach your kids black unity. Because that's most likely the neighborhood and group of people that will most accept your children at face value. Because the half-breeds I know, baby, they don't really too much get embraced by the white side. And, yeah, when a white man hooks up with a sister, it's bad when other white men see this. Yeah. Some white men hate to see white men with black women. Yes, they do. But you know just as well as I do, when the lights are off, it's dark, and two people are in the mood, that same old racist would rather lay up with old nappy-head jigaboo than anything else in the world. And that's been proven throughout their time. So please, I can go bad, and I can go real bad, and I can just be real. And when I'm just being real, it don't matter. But if I want to make myself sound like a little racist, I'll say what I just said. The massa used to love that black ass. Yes, he did. Yes, sir. Yes, he did. He'd come down there and fuck a woman in front of her kids. In front of her man. Dare him to get up and speak like a man. And when he did, pull him out in front of everybody and whip him. Cut his feet off, cut his penis off, cut his hands off, cut his balls off, boil him in hot water, boil him in hot oil. And you expect a group of people to believe as if these people need to be on the same level with me. There is no freedom without peace. There is no peace without equality. There is no equality without respect. There is no respect without justice, and there will be no justice without peace. You see, the circle keeps on going on so they can ever be, <laughs> so they can never be friends with us, and we can never be friends with them. Is that how you want me to sound? You want me to sound like a separatist? Because you have a white man? Please, by all means, get with what makes you happy. But please, by all means, Teach the meaning of the heritage in which both of you came from. You think your kid's going to be mad to know great, 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 great grandpa owned your great, 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 great grandma and the way your skin is not dark like it used to be? It's because grandpa's blood is rolling through you and me? I can go there too. But I just want people to be free, equal, respectful, respected. And I don't give a damn. But just don't be bashing black people because you can. And if you can bash black people, you can bash white people. And if you can't bash white people in your household because you have a white man, ask him, does he know anybody ever call anybody out their name? Does he know anybody ever said anything foul or disrespectful about black people? And when you allow someone to say this about your children. See, I know a friend of mine who went to training. He got a great skill. He went and found a job in that field that he went to school for. And a couple of weeks there, uh, some guy tells him, you sound like a nigger lover. He got three half-black kids. 
Um, I gotta go, and uh, you've been too.